What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 14th Python with NLTK for Natural Language Processing tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about pickle or how to save basically your trained algorithm so every time you want to use your trained algorithm you don't have to go through and retrain it. So the training process for this algorithm, actually this specific algorithm, the training process is not that slow. The longest uh, part of the, the process is probably just the loading in of the documents. But that said, there's going to be times where you're, you maybe you're writing, you've got one algorithm or down the road we're actually going to have many algorithms and we're going to use a voting process on those algorithms to decide what the decision is amongst all of the algos and it adds up pretty quickly to train each algorithm uh, especially if you're doing the same training set every single time why not save it so pickle is a way that we can actually save Python objects so then we can load in those objects and it's actually extremely powerful um, so anyway let's just go ahead and hop in and show a quick example of using pickle so first of all to use it uh, we need to import it and it's just pickle like the food so import pickle and then what we'll do is near the bottom uh, just somewhere after we do this part, you know, uh, we can save the classifier by doing something like we can first of all we'll say save underscore classifier is going to equal open and then we'll save it as a file, some sort of file name, but we'll call it naive base dot pickle and we want to open this with the intention to wb, which is right in bytes. Uh, if you're on Python 2, this won't matter. But it, for Python 3 and beyond, which you should be on anyways, this you have to write it as bytes. Uh, so anyways, there's that. And then we'll do pickle.dump. What do we want to dump? We want to dump this classifier, right? The thing that we trained to this word classifier. Uh, what do we want to dump? Where do we want to dump it? To save underscore classifier. Okay. Then, of course, as usual, classifier or save classifier close. We'll close that file. Good. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And while we're waiting, let's go over here. Um, what do we save that as? Naive base pickle, although the last one I did, yes, yeah, so here it is. We'll wait on this one to come up. Okay, so we had a 69% accuracy, and we've saved it now to this naive base dot pickle file. Alrighty, uh, so we've got that saved. Now what we could do is instead of saving the classifier, let's just comment that part out. Um, and then here, where we have we're loading in this classifier, uh, instead of having it be the training what we can do is something like this so we can say whoops where am I uh, there we are classifier underscore f for a file basically equals open and it's the same file uh, naive base dot pickle we want to open it with the intention to read in bytes again because of Python 3's differentiation between bytes and strings uh, then we're gonna say classifier equals pickle dot load what do we want to load classifier uh, f and then of course classifier dot close and actually it's classifier f dot close cool alright save and run that um, actually uh, sorry let's comment this out I even though it'll redefine it anyways we'll just comment it out to show that our our magical trick is actually working here with pickle. Um, so we might have a, a separate percentage accuracy. Ooh, this one was actually really bad accuracy. <laughs> I assure you, uh, this might actually still be bad because the one that we've sa let's see, are we saving it every time? No. Just run one more time. Hopefully, we won't get a 56. There we go, 67. Woo! Like I said this kind of unreliability in accuracy numbers you know the 50 as you saw earlier we got an 89 percent and now on the same algorithm we got a 56 percent like this is horrible um, I'll show you later on how we can use this voting process to get a, at least a stable uh, accuracy percent 
And then as we go on, we'll kind of dig into this accuracy and kind of see if we can figure out what's causing this much volatility in our accuracy. Uh, but anyways, that was just a quick uh, tutorial on saving the classifier because as you, you might want to tweak things and maybe you can save, like you, you might tweak things a little bit, maybe you want to add more words or something like that, and you want to save that classifier, this is how you can do it, you can save it, and actually you could pickle this entire document, you could have pickled everything here, um, you could, you know, make a class out of this basically and pickle that, and, um, and then you wouldn't have to run this every time because as you add on top of this and do more analysis it's only going to take more and more time every time you run it so it makes a lot of sense to pickle it so anyways that's pickling just a real quick example with this although pickle is extremely useful this is not an NLTK thing this is actually part of your standard library so um, definitely check out pickle think about using it um, I know that I've definitely underused pickle in my time uh, I didn't really think about looking into it it's a lot more useful than it is so, or than I thought it was <laughs> a lot more useful than it is anyway uh, that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support the subscriptions and until next time